Have you ever wanted to add more character and movement to your animations? With Noodle 2 by Good Boy Ninja, you can make things jiggle and wobble to your heart's content. Let's jump in. If you decide to pick up this plugin after watching this video, I have a discount link in the description, which will get you 25% off. So I've just created a fresh scene and added a stroke to it with three points. Now, with the path selected down in the layer panel, I'm gonna come up here to the noodle window, click this, nothing happens immediately. But if we animate our stroke now, we will see something. So to start, I'm just gonna press Y and move the anchor point of the stroke over to the side. And then we're gonna animate the rotation. I'm just gonna add a wiggle to the rotation. So I'm gonna hold Alt, click on the stopwatch, type in a wiggle. Let's go for three and 30. So you can see as the stroke is rotating, it's actually bending in the middle, which is kind of what the noodling does. One way we can tweak the frequency of the noodle effect is by just dragging this slider here. So we can lower it a bit by just dragging. It's maybe something like that. And then you'll see a less extreme noodle. It looks a bit smoother. You can also press this editor button here. And in here we have a bunch of options. First off, you can choose a physics preset. Let's go for butter. Ooh, okay. So what this has done, this butter preset, is it's lowered the boinginess, which is a scientific term, and it's increased the freedom. And I think what that means is that it's lowered the frequency, essentially, of the bounce of the wiggle, but it's increased the kind of distance that the point can travel. It also gives you the option down here under path weight map to actually tweak the amount of noodling for each individual point on your path. So right now we've got all the noodling set to the middle point. Let's see what happens if we add some velocity to the final point. Looks a bit different now. You can also randomize the weights. You can choose the option forward, which will increase the weight from the start of your path to the end of your path. So it's set 0 0.1 to 0, 0 0.2 to 50, and 0.3 to 100. So this gives you a lot of control to modify exactly how you want your paths to wiggle. Let's try moving the anchor point to the right side of the stroke and see what happens. See, and now the stroke wiggles from the other side. I've used lots of plugins that add wiggle and inertia, but none that can actually modify the individual paths within a shape. That's what I think is so cool about this. If you find that your noodle is using oodles of computation and slowing down your scene, you can actually bake the noodling by clicking the quick bake button. And in here, you can choose to either bake inside the work area or bake inside the layer bounds. And you can also choose to bake to an expression or to keyframes. So let's bake to keyframes and bake inside work area. And you can see here it's added a keyframe for every single frame. And this should speed up your viewport. Here's an example of a character animation that I did in After Effects, and I added the noodle effect to it. I randomized the weights for each of the shapes so it looks more jiggly. And here's a comparison of without the noodle and with the noodle. So here's some custom artwork that I drew in Procreate and then imported into After Effects. I've added some puppet pins, one at the top, one at the bottom. And then I simply animated the rotation of the whole layer and I put the anchor point down here. So it's just using a ping pong expression to loop back and forth between this rotation and this rotation. So it's just going boom, 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 boom. So I've got some easing on the keyframes. We can make it even more jiggly using Noodle. So I've got the two keyframes for the puppet pins here and I've highlighted them. And if we come up here, you can see just below it says puppet pin two plus one more. So it's just telling you these are the things that you're adding the Noodle to. So let's click and let's see. Okay, we've got something. So let's go in and see what else we can control. I'm going to go into the editor here and this is the window that you get when you have multiple properties that you want to add wiggle to at the same time and in here again we can control the boinginess and the freedom of each puppet pin. So the puppet pin at the bottom here isn't really moving so we don't really want much there so I've already put the opacity down to zero so that there's no boinginess on that puppet pin and then for the other one I've got 80 for the boinginess and 94 for the freedom. And if you open the tools window here, you can do a bunch of stuff like, like we did before, randomize, set the set forward, set backwards, etc. Let's use a sort of buttering effect again by decreasing the boinginess to 16 and a high degree of freedom, maybe like 80. And then let's see. So a slightly different effect there. So you can see how you can use it to add some character and life to your animations. 
Check out my Patreon to get access to exclusive project files and asset packs, discount codes or some great plugins, and at the same time support the channel. You can also join the Discord server where you can chat about animation, get feedback on your work from other community members, promote yourself and more. And as always guys, see you on the flippity flop.